as we've got some live action now with Tully White on her forehand. Nice setup for that high line nose ride. Perches for that sole arch to start. And now setting herself up here. Nice and reactive off that board. Finding a beautiful trim line for that 5 to 10 combination. Doing everything that you just described of her surfing. Nice drive off the bottom. Sets it up for another nose ride here. Engages that tail and gets that full S turn involved in the pocket. And she just goes down on the finish. Like Kaylee Skelly Paha, Connie Ellis Stewart is also riding a trusted favorite board that performs so well for him at the Huntington event as we see that great tight footwork. Great tight footwork on the Kai Salas Longboard Co. Surfboard under his feet. Beautiful rail work. Nice pop out of that board on those bottom turns as well. Hooks it into a very critical hang 10 as he gets the lift coming out of the nose ride. Engages the rail again, keeping that style flow and grace as he connects through for another hang 10 on the inside section. Perfect posture and goes for the climb to finish as well on the sand. That was outstanding from Coniella. I would think that could go up into the excellent range based on the fact that... Connie's going to be in a great position, though, for this one to look to secure himself in that front running position and to get rid of that 2.83. Now, Connie hasn't taken off on a ride since his excellent 8.00 early on in the heat, and he's well on his way to another similar score now with this 10 as he holds through the pocket, steps off it just for a moment, and then back to the 10 and a great S turn into that hang 10 once again and just executing everything with perfection, with ease, with pop as well as he slides through to this inside section. Beautiful wave selection and an incredible performance as Kaimana's up and riding and he kicks out out the back. And Tony goes down in the foam on the inside and Ben continues to work his way through. Nice whip out of the board and into another great hang five. And he's feeling it on his opening ride here. Beautiful wave selection. Nice little bit of jive coming out of that board as he just pumps off the bottom and sets himself up in here for one more section to finish with. I don't know how many nose rides he's had on this wave so far, but we're going on maybe 10. Straighten out, so a nice solid keeper wave there for Kevin, and behind him, Declan Whiten. So the set came through, Whiten in the back, and a nice perch on the nose there for the surfer from North Stain, Manly Beach in 2023 yeah. on the championship tour. Yeah, and you know, even when we're done with Eris here, here as we look at this wave here, the, the, the beautiful thing about the Challenger Series is that, you know, we are going to continue to compete in Brazil and also we'll have the final. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Take Inouye coming back right now. Had a shaky start, some bad wave selections at the first half of this heat, but oh. now the Japanese competitor all over the nose, hanging through there, making the difficult look very easy. Gets a 10 on the inside before straightening out. And, wow. whoo, Daijobu for Take Inouye. That was a very technical wave there for Tucker. So this is going to be a very significant score for Maria as we see Soleil getting her second scoring ride. Soleil now up and riding, looking as loose and groovy as ever in that opening S turn. Finds that nose ride quickly, drives off the bottom. She's just getting so much kind of pump and momentum and speed, but keeping that flow within her surfing. Finds that 5 to 10, locks in for a long 10 and keeps that board in the perfect position on that wave, engages the rail, throws a lot of spray, and is looking like a tough surfer to beat. Bringing through this sort of style, flow, and grace, the cheers on the beach. We can hear them from the booth, and scores to come in. Now first of Soleil, a 7.33, and a backup to drop. If she can improve on that 6.5, it's going to chip away as well at that excellent 9.06 requirement. But now the local in Erico is up and riding once again. Great footwork, quick taps to that five to holds the 10. Pedals off and now engages that rail and that's that full wrap and cut back that we've been talking about. That little stylish moment of just facing back to the ocean as well. Beautiful rail work from Erico and just nearly loses it on the finish. I don't know how she pulled off the end of that. I wow. love that. The rail turns there. These are some of the best rail turns I've seen all day. Uh, so Yoshikawa beaches that one and fortunately for Honolulu Bloomfield she had to to yield way to Caitlin Mickelson because she is in the priority heat and Caitlin makes her way to finishing off her wave on the nose but un unable to go complete Honolulu Bloomfield Matt lot to unpack in these last few waves Kaipo and Hono 
Wow, losing control, gaining control again. So that was considered to be a, a very critical turn there, Kaipo. And we'll see how the judges agree. And she finishes complete. Wow, that was a great flurry of waves. And incredible surfing from Caitlin Mickelson, who actually cut off Honolulu. We saw that in the shot. And that's completely uh, uh, in, as part of the rules. It's not just another day at Malibu. You know, in that last wave of Hiroka's, as much as she probably thought there was an error there where she had to sort of paddle to get that extra speed, had she have just completed cleanly, it may have been well and truly enough to pull her out of combination situation. But here's the heat winner of our priority heat at the moment, Honolulu Blomfield, up and cruising, coming right through the racetrack section, 5 and 10, beautiful camera angle here, looking into the wave. I love that, just showing the complexity of nose riding and the timing and more so the, the positioning, Kaipo. See how she's staying high on the wave? Trying to find what little pocket there is on this higher tide conditions at Surfrider Beach. As we see the two are leaderboard there. Keep in mind both of those, uh, we've got one to ten there, and that includes both events, Manly and Huntington. As we go back to Taylor, nice arch ten there. Very critical nose ride. Playing a little safe by Taylor standards and leaning into that cutback. And here he goes, setting it up for the midsection of the wave. Elegant footwork. Trademark Taylor snap. You can see those beautiful glassy waves. Taylor's bowling out. It's going to, it's going to run on the inside. Some of the waves have been bowling a little too much. And Edward may have the pick here. Beautiful hang 10 on the outside. For our surfer in blue, the Frenchman. Carving into the bowl. As we cast our eyes to Edward on the outside and again gets that little touch 10 and Taylor on the inside getting a little upright moment. Wow, this is a huge exchange. As we see a little bit of uh, sharing between the two surfers. Justin Quintal goes down in that opening section. Harrison Roach now out the back finding a good size wave. Picks that high line for that 5 to 10 combination. Sticks back to the 10. Now sets himself up here for a nice bit of rail work. And all of that classic Australian style coming through in Harry surfing. Drives back again. Great work linking through those nose rides, engaging the rail, using that combination. And gets a little bit stuck here, but finds the nose again. Looking for that last moment to put on a clean kick out. And he is now down into second place because Steven Sawyer dropped a 6.77 for his last wave. Harrison Roach chasing just a 3.61. Wave having a little bit more of that wedge section in front of it. Not that super clean drawn out line for Cole, but for Harrison Roach getting so much beautiful work done. And another surfer, it looks like Tony Silvani up and riding all the way out the back. That'll be Tony's first ride as Cole kicks off on the inside, and Harrison continues through this middle section. Great nose work, great footwork pedaling back, and Harrison engaging that Aussie-style Thomas log. Nice little trim line there. Finds some speed and momentum as he pedals back, and Tony Silvani on the Stewart. Now driving back as he comes out of that nose ride, straight back onto the tail, engages that fin as well, and looks for a beautiful section to finish off with as he comes through to the inside. Maybe the better of the wave selection even for Tony Silvani. We'll have to get a look at the replays because that was so much action. It was style, flow and grace personified. That's a big factor there. The, the, the fluidity between everything is something that we should really celebrate. Everything about it was style, flow, grace. As we see Connie Ellis Stewart now up and riding. Connie sitting on a 2.83 and a 7.67 for last of Stewart in a commanding lead as he's perched back into a calm and collected hang 10. Comes up into the lip and rides out of a radical maneuver. Back to the five, linked into the pocket here. And this wave is just turning on for Connie. Great variety of the rail work as well. As he goes for that big sole arch hang 10, through to the inside, adds in the drop knee cut back, and he'll kick out. This is the best surfing that I've seen all year. It is incredible to have pumping Malibu, to have sets available, to get that opportunity that everybody gets to surf. Not just a wave catching contest to see what happens, but to be able to see performances, perfect hang tens like that from Coniella, that drive back into the section as well as he goes in for a next nose ride and up and riding out the back behind him. It looks like our surfer in blue and Connie continues through to the inside, ticking all the boxes, but doing it with style, flow and grace, looking to improve on the 767 as his backup score as we have Tony trimming through 
on his forehand. Locked into a very long extended 5 to 10 with that arm held high. Tony engages that rail as well as Connie goes for the hang hills to the run back on the sand. I love that. I love like the owning the last maneuver and stepping off on the beach. And as we saw, perhaps that spread of scores was because uh, on Declan's last wave because it did shrink towards the end. And sometimes we saw in Kai Salas earlier losing a fin on the shore break. Doing a and the shore break's gnarly. This, Here, yeah. Here we go. Ben Skinner on the comeback. He's a 7 9 3. Mm. And he's just parked on the nose through that first section. Now we're going to see some of the power of Ben Skinner illustrated with a big swooping cutback. Back to the nose again for a 5. Just touches it for a while. Again, powerful rail surfing. Skinner gets the 10, gets through this section, little hand drag to stall. High and tight and hot. Look at him. Yes, perched. That's what's up. That is what's up. Like Cassia said, That's points there. Up. That's what's up. That's what's up. That, I mean, he knows. That felt good. Again, he stepped off on the sand. He owned that. He was actually out here practicing just that. And you'll see that maybe right here as Ben's taking a look. He knows that that's going to run on him. It's not worth wasting his time. Declan uses priority, gets to the nose, looking super casual through that first section, has to skip around here. Another five for Declan, just taps a 10. Swooping cut back, Skinner on the wave behind him. Both surfers able to fire mm. back and forth over each other. Again, a reminder, Declan Whiten needs a 7.68. Needs to really line up something on the inside here. And a little caught up on that final turn for Declan Whiten. Except not way back in the pocket, but we may see something different on this wave. Elise back on it and finds a home on the nose again. Cruising through there on the 10. Just clocking some time. Cassie, I'm going to use your term, nasal navigation on display for the French surfer. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful surfing. Beautiful surfing. Nice little cutback on the inside. You know, she got to the tail of her board. You know, she's stoked on that one again. I mean, obviously, that was a freaking epic wave. <laughs> I'm fired up. That said, you know, good highlights. We'll have a better update for the women's after this round finishes. But on the men's side, heading into the semifinals, which is coming out soon, it's so tight between those four surfers that it's going to be the surfer that takes the win in the event will win the world title. And that's the official car. Call from tours and competitions from Kira Seal. So the man that wins the event wins the world title. Thank you for that, Shannon, as we see Soleil. Erico on the comeback right now. Soleil needing an 8.67, styling through this section. She's been utilizing the whole board style, flow, grace, all personified in that, that ride. Sole, Erico, give it up to her. Yeah, that was an excellent, excellent ride. Excellent surfing. You can't just go out and hang 10 like Elise, and the pressure is going to be back on Elise, but she's proven time and time again she only needs right now a 7.74, and she's well and truly capable. Here she goes. On the nose. Beautiful wave. Now everybody pay attention to really where her board is tracking on this wave. Like, look at how the wave is holding the board. You know, it is, it's, it's, she's perching a gorgeous 10. Look at that thing. Amazing. Here she goes. Oh, she keeps going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what an exchange. And... What a comeback right now by Elise. This is an inc it's the seat started really slowly, you guys. Mm -hmm. They sat out there for a long time, nearly 15 minutes, and now we just got fireworks, explosions, everything's happening. Out the back, <laughs> big Bombora from Angora. Look at that thing. Oh, this, it's happening, guys. <laughs> it is zero happening. seconds. Zero seconds down to the wire. 
That's going to be close. I don't know. It was a smaller wave for Soleil. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough, but look at this one. Who's in front? Who's on third? Jason Schremer, and then we have behind her, I think it's that next heat, which will be Sophia Colhane. So Alice had a chance to, to actually take off on Mason's wave. And she dreams. wasn't in position. I saw that. Well, she had priority. She could have. She should have. She should have. She should have. And it is our surfers in blue and red that have first priority in the water right now. And priority above all goes to Sophia Colhane in the blue. Now with the paddle chasing a 5.81 to get the advancing position past Honolulu Bloomfield. Quick footwork finds the five. You can see that wind now coming into play, causing a little bit of air brush to the surface of the water as she goes for that five to 10 combination and continues holding on to the five, connects for a second hang 10, has not let off of that front foot for so long, now finds that trim line and glides her way down to the bottom of the wave, sets herself up through that backwash, looking so graceful, so stylish, pedals back and the flow within this has been incredible. So many long nose rides, almost one continuous long nose ride from the back section with tens and fives combined. Goes down on the finish, got a bit of rail work in on the second half of the wave, and she's waiting for a second. They've got free reign of the lineup here. In priority is Rachel, but Khalees is just looking to replace that 2.50, deciding to go on this one, Shannon. All right, here we go. Setting up that first section, picks that high line to start. Quick 10, pedals off of the five, back to the five now. Engages that rail, wraps back into the pocket, setting this up nice and smooth. So far, flawless surfing. This wave also cleans up. That little bit of chop that we have on the face is gone as she comes through to this oily, glassy section and just is linking everything together with style, flow, and grace. That backhand nose riding dynamic, keeping that board right there, high and tight in the pocket. A nice wrap around again as she comes through for a final nose ride and goes down on the finish, but really pushed that risk and commitment to the end. That final induce was just really fun and it was a first for the both of us. So getting a first like semi-final with here too, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. And so many great Hawaiian world longboard champions, Dwayne, Dino, Bonga, to name just a few. As far as Hawaiian women longboarders, who do you really look up to and who's inspired you most? Obviously, Auntie Rail's son. I mean, like, she's one of a kind. She's a beautiful person. I never got to meet her, but listening to all her stories that all of my aunties, like, tell from her, you know, that's what you want to be. Obviously, you'll be remembered as a world champion, but importantly, you'll be known as the kind of person you are outside of the water. But I look up to all of the Hawaiian women in my life, too. Yeah. Well, you're doing a great job embodying that Hawaiian style. Some messages for your fans back home. Big number for Roach, and he's back up and at it again. Gets that trim, just like you were talking about. Trim line, beautiful. Right again, up into the nose, matching the speed of the wave. Now turning through the middle of the board. Some rail control has to come around this section for Roach. Calm upper body, oh. great footwork. Perched with the 10. Wrapping around in a classic style. Harrison Roach slows down one more time and is just toying with the streaking beautiful oh wave my here word. at first point malibu harrison roach putting on a show of classic longboarding beautifully done if you're just joining us you uh, you're going to be enjoying some mind-blowing longboarding and we've seen it all day we're going to con we are going to crown world champs here at Malibu. This is the Cuervo Classic Malibu presented by O'Neill. This is a replay of a ride for Taylor Jensen, Matt, that happened during the break. This is an eight-point ride, Kaipo. Beautiful flow and connection in that turn there. Get him a little bit behind the section, but he makes up for it on the inside. And this one's walled up all the way to shore. Love that relaxed body language. Four steps up the tip and that little 10 moment and driving through the whitewash back up to a close 10, a, f a tight five, and then carving back around, putting his weight into that turn. He's way down the beach now in front of the lifeguard tower and finishing off in front of Harrison's fans, depending mm. on how paddle fit you are. But these guys missed the first set wave. They are too deep, remember? Mm, that's There's right. wide swingers. That's and if right. you're out of priority, Megs... Meanwhile... Oh, my word. Harrison Roach. Harrison just navigating from the nose there. Beautiful style. He faded into his initial bottom turn and just classic surfing by Harrison Roach. Right behind him, Taylor Jensen. 
on a clean, long Malibu wall, illustrating the big leverage. Swooping cutback for Jensen, more of a classic style with Roach coming through here. And look at how picture perfect Malibu is right now for finals day. And look at Taylor still going, hanging 10. He knows he needs to put into work right now. He needs big numbers across the board and with five minutes, a little over five minutes left, his, uh, his paddling strength is definitely gonna need to come into play after he kicks out of this wave. He's gotta book it back out. Spears the board out the back, Taylor Jensen. He's gonna be waiting for his scores. He's identified something, looks a little interested. It's got a long wall down at the bay. It's smaller. Oh, it's big decision. Giant decision. He knows decision. he needs a big, big, big score. This is? This is the Hail Mary you were talking about. This Let's is see the it. year in a wave for Connie Alice Stewart. Starts with a five. He really needs this. Gets the 10. Back on the tail for a couple of turns. Back to the 10, five, hanging there. Perched on the nose. Ooh. Calm oh body. Toes curled over the back. nose. Oh Beautiful trim. Floats the section. Needs more, needs more right now. Finds the open face again. Back to the nose wow. one more time. Oh my gosh. Salutes in the air. Big snap for Stewart. I Cross-stepping, nice footwork, bangs the finish, drags the spin oh on the gosh. sand. Kaniyama wow. Stewart. That deserves a cheese. Do it. This is it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Oh my gosh. Thanks. Right. gotta let one out. Oh, I gotta. <laughs> Go. <laughs> <laughs> and there goes our sound man. And she's going to have a look at this one as Mason just pops over the shoulder. And she's going to set up with that high line right off the takeoff. Straight onto the nose. Perch for that quick hang 10 to start. Holds the five. She hasn't come off of the nose since she took off on the wave. Back to another quick 10. Holds that five for so long out the back. Now engages that rail. Throws in that beautiful sole arch. Back to the 10 in the pocket. And this is an incredible ride and such a good feeling for Soleil, riding that Velvet Hour, the Thunderbolts technology aboard design that she's worked on herself and goes in for a huge finish. She put all the risk and commitment on the line. Hopefully didn't fall and actually hit that board with her back in any way. She's got to swim in front of her, but that finish would have been unbelievable had she been able to ride out complete. So many of the surfers in the draw here, like Soleil, like Mason, they're putting in the groundwork behind the scenes to keep our beaches pristine and clean as we see Soleil swinging to go on this one. She's now just in that rhythm. She's already found some great waves. She's back to that hang 10, and she's looking to really close that door to get a feeling for the lineup now and the slightly changing conditions as the tides are different and as the wind has picked up and engages in two beautiful rail wraps now back into the nose, finding that rhythm with the ocean for Erico and back into that hang five Finding another here as that wave pockets out and she finds that 10 through the bowl. Just climbing and dropping now as she digs that rail in for that finishing cutback. 30 minutes remaining, a lot of time. And we just when we thought Malibu was dying, we saw those 900 set waves in that heat with Mason Schremer way out the back having to try and choose between the two. But fellow, well, almost country person now, Harrison Roach, beautiful 10 to open up his account steering on the nose from 10 through to 5 and that midsection of the board providing that speed now pumping high line down and around beautiful time slash there for the Australian Harrison Roach and out behind him Carniella Stewart Carniella Stewart on the nose poised perched in a 10 for an extended period of time Stewart now goes to turns on the outside Roach kicks off on the inside Sophia goes down, slips off the wax, and falls on the finish of her wave while Soleil Erico is trimming her way through. Multiple nose rides, incredible rail work, and setting this high line once again as she comes through for that long five. Pedals back off, down to the tail, wraps it back into the foam, wow. and gives the stare back to the tower. That was a full roundhouse cutback at the end. She, she, you know, she put that board into a figure of eight, S turn all the way around. She's just checking that board is safe and sound. That, that was, was a gnarly finish just now. She got fully sucked over the falls on top of it. Utilizing her local knowledge in perfect wave selection throughout this entire event, it's been unbelievable to witness. And then to be able to perform, to showcase what the judges are looking for for that all-around surfer from both nose riding and 
Very good, solid rail work as Soleil is now up and riding again. Perches on the nose for a quick moment. Sets up that rail and that big S turn. Now back to that five, looking for a 10 if she can find it. You can feel when those surfers are trying to look for it and she finds it. Sophia now up and riding out the back behind her straight to the five as Soleil does that full wrap back into the pocket as well. Sophia engaging the rail back to the nose. Soleil on the inside section with more criticalness to offer as she comes through for the finish. Sophia getting some great work done out the back as well. Both of these women extremely good on rail and that start with that critical nose ride is proving extremely important with Sophia chasing a 951 and Soleil looking to replace an 817. Sets that high line quick for Soleil straight to the nose. Finds that next high line trim line. Pedals off, doesn't want to force anything too much and engages the rail. Brings in the variety that she's been demonstrating so well throughout this event in her race to taking that leading position at the moment. Continues to find nose rides as Sophia Colleen is now up and riding out the back. Sophia opens with a nose ride, goes to the rail as Soleil engages in that beautiful carve back into the pocket. Now up to the nose again as Sophia kicks out the back. Soleil continues to bring that great rail work and kicks out in the backwash. So Soleil's wave all came alive on the middle and the inside for her.